using graphs, diagrams, some sort of interpretation or interpolation type thing. Then recently for the last 5 to 6 years, the examiner is isn't it, scoring over you by taking into the statement form right now. This is similar to the assertion reason, but nothing like supporting it, but statement. You look into your question paper now. Most of your questions finally which will decide your fate are basically statements. One, two, three statements are given and you will give his options. One and two correct, two and three correct, three and four correct, none of the above, all the above, not correct, yes. So there what he is doing here? Number one he is testing your alertness, whether you are alert or not. Here also correct is there, not correct is there. You need to be careful. Then statements are the one, these are not like your earlier questions, whereby you immediately pinpoint the things there. And in the statements also, they added a new dimension recently. What is that new dimension? In one question, one statement is from one section, another statement is from another section. Or out of three statements, two statements are from one section and one statement is from another section. That means what you call it as cross-sectional questions or cross-sectoral questions have come. 